Um, okay. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today's video, I am going to be showcasing my settings, my key bindings, my equipment, my keyboard, mouse, monitors, etc. I'm going to be showcasing all of that. Sorry for my grammar. I just woke up. <laughs> but I'm going to be giving you guys the best competitive settings, the best advantages that you guys can use in Fortnite right now on PC so you can win one-on-one -on -one engagements and multiple engagements and win most of your games and fights. Sorry for the shit quality. I'm going to get into that into a second. So for the start off, for starters, I'm going to be showcasing my graphic settings. So if we go to here to our video card and our video settings, it says right here for window mode, I play on full screen. I really recommend you play on full screen because if you play on, for example, windowed mode, windowed full screen, it, they're going to put VSync on and then it's just going to be a lot of crap going on your, um, it's just going to suck for your mouse, so don't do that. St stick it on full screen if you can, and put your display resolution to whatever your monitor can go back to, which is 1920x by 1080. Frame rate limit, I'm going to go by my monitor, considering it is a 144Hz monitor. What I like to do is, I like to rock my graphic settings to the lowest it possibly can. I don't care about any settings. The game looks perfect to me just like this. I put everything on the lowest crap possible so i could get that good frame rate boost just by doing that so put view distance in near shadows off anti-aliasing aliasing fuck i don't want to talk about it textures effects processing all low okay v-sync put it to off motion board put it to off show fps on if you put v-sync on it's gonna cap Screen, it's going to take away screen tearing, but it's going to put you to a really weird frame rate. So I might as well put it off. If you turn this off, you'll get more frame rate. Motion blur, you put that off, you'll see more on the screen. And then you'll see players from far away in distance. So it's no blur in your face. It's up to you whether you want to put show FPS on or off. I like to have it on so I can see how much FPS I'm getting and how much ping I'm getting while I'm playing. Alright, so let's get into the best part. My settings. Language, of course, is English. My matchmaking region is NA East, for those who don't know. Now, let's start off with the PC settings. My mouse sensitivity X is 0 0.105, and my mouse sensitivity Y is 0 0.105. And for those who don't know, the, my DPI is 400, and my pulling rate is 1,000. And the mouse that I use to make all the shots I do in my streams is a Logitech G502. I recommend this mouse. I'll be leaving a link in the description if you want to go check it out. It's a very quality mouse. I really suggest it. For mouse targeting sensitivity, I have 0.570. It's just a proper sensitivity for beginners. Mouse scope sensitivity, something high like 400 will do the trick. That's just my personal preference. And that's about it. I don't really have controller settings because I haven't played controller in probably like seven months. So I really can't give you details on that in this video. Oh yeah, and I forgot to give you guys why my 3D resolution is 1280x by 1080. I do play stretch res. I would teach you guys how to do stretch res, but not in this video. Maybe another time. If you guys want to learn how to do stretch res, leave a comment down below. And I'll definitely make a video on that for you guys if you want to know how to do stretch resolution. But for me, I rock 1280x by 1080. There's a, like so many different stretch resolutes you could use, like 1600, 1440, and 1444, and like 1280, which one and lower. You can get as low as you want. It's up to you. But those are the top resolutions that most of these pro players are using because it's. I really recommend stretch res for anybody who wants to have a better advantage than most other players because 95% of this game is using native res, which is 1920 by 1080. So I really recommend using stretched. Okay, so let's get back into my settings. Um, my HUD scale is 1.11 only because I am using stretch, like I said, so it makes everything kind of stretch, so I have to put it up a little bit. I'm not going to showcase everything, but for control options, I do put sprint by default on, so I don't, I don't have to hold down shift to run on my keyboard. It'll just be easier. Aim assist is obviously on. And these are mainly like controller crap. I'm not going to get into this. Vibration off, you know, all this. doesn't really matter. Most of y'all are here for the main input settings. But those are my personal 
settings that I use every single day. Brightness, I put it to 0.50. Audio, my music volume is very low because I don't want it to be ear raping anybody in my stream. So I put that to the lowest it possibly can. Sound effects volume is on max. Voice chat volume is on max. Cinematics volume is on max. Subtitles is on. Quality is high. Voice chat's on. Push to talk is on. While background audio is off. This accessibility doesn't mean anything. Now let's get into another important thing. My key binds. For the movement. I rock. Move forward for W, A, S, and D for the movement. The jump is space bar. Sprint is left shift. But I really don't use shift. Like I said, I have toggle run on, so I don't really use shift. I don't have any button set to sprint because I just run automatically. But if you want to know how to do that, go back here and go to control options and go to sprint by default. So you don't have to click a button to run. Auto run is equals. I should put sprint, actually. I should put auto run to shift. What? Hang on. Okay, there we go. Shift is now auto run. Crouch is C. I think it's way better than control or alt like most people use, but C is very efficient for me. I 100% recommend it to anybody who wants to have a competitive advantage. C is just my personal preference for crouching. Combat is your ordinary crap. I'm not going to get into that, but my heart, like my. my my weapon slots and my harvesting tool, my middle button, my middle mouse button is the scroll wheel. I don't side or left click it. I click it down and it brings out my pickaxe. Weapon slot 1 is Z. Weapon slot 2 is X. Weapon slot 3, 4, and 5 is 1, 2, and 3. It's just way better for me. It's just because I have all my key binding sets my mouse. So if I side click on the left, that's my weapon slot 3. And my right click on the cursor button, or not the cursor, the scroll wheel is um, weapon slot 2. And weapon slot 3, I just click 3. So, crouch rock building doesn't even have a binding. But for wall, I have a button on my mouse. It's, um, there's a side button in the top one I use. And then for stairs is my other button on the bottom. And for floor is Q on my keyboard. And the keyboard that I use for you guys that i use is a uh, armada chroma mecha it's like a mechanical slash membrane gaming keyboard it's from razor it's like a mixture of membrane and mechanical so i really recommend it it's i'll leave a link in i'll leave all my equipment in the link in the description so yeah that's my building roof is v floor is q um push to talk is caps lock it's just way better for me Emo locker emote one and slot two. I have it set to my mouse. There's two buttons on the top of my mouse that I click for. My my first slot button is for dancing, and my second one is for um GG spray paint. That like you see me do a lot in my streams. My building edit is F, and all this extra crap doesn't mean anything. I you can change this to whatever you want. But yeah, those are my key bindings, and the monitor that I use is a. 144 hertz monitor. I'll leave a link in the description. I think it's an Acer monitor. Yeah, it's an Asus. I mean, sorry, Asus 144 hertz monitor. I'll leave a link in the description to Amazon to all the crap I use. So, yeah, those are my settings, guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to subscribe if you're new. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment down below if you want to know how to do stretch threads. I'll make a video on that. Ring the bell to get notified when I go live or when I post a video. I stream every single day for at least two or more hours depending on how the day is and yeah if you want to join my discord server there will be a link in the description and i will see you guys when i see you guys peace